Hello everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon Battle video. Today here with be Bedford. I'm also being joined with the one and only Callum and Hello. Connor. Monty Boy 13. Don't forget to go to his channel guys. And there's a whole ball down here. <laughs> We're also being joined by Connor's friend Jordan. <laughs> that just sounds weird, Jordan. I've got no noise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is turning out to be the most scariest Pokemon episode yet. <laughs> I've got three subscribers. Go to. Okay, guys, stop the silliness. The battle is about to begin. I'm getting paid 300 quid per video. Oh! Kinda gets, kinda gets one p every time he does ten videos. Yeah, that's amazing. The biggest peak in the world. All right, guys. So we're starting off. So Callum sent in a Mora, which was his keys. Mora. And I'm sent in my keys. Yeah. <laughs> Go keys! <laughs> no keys! Uh, so, Amora's gonna start off with spikes, which is a move that can damage you in a field area. Uh, I'm starting off with a leaf storm, but he's Amora. How can you dodge that though? I mean, come on. It's like a uh, Yeah, fairy types are a bit very special defensive. I don't know how they're very elusive though. Oh, I'll take that early. Yeah. So, I'm gonna hit him with a earthquake. Uh, to I'm going to damage. use a fairy type. Passive. I'm going to. So I hit him with an earthquake, and it's super effective because he's steel type. I'm using the move called Train Kiss. It's a very type of attack that steals some of the HP away from your opponent. Oh, you've been messing with. Um, I've used a um, steel type move called Metal Sound, which lowers your special defense stats. I'm uh, hitting with a Leaf Blade. What? Just a fish one. Yeah, you've seen Leaf Blight in the episodes before. There you go. Uh, I'll try this move. I'm using a lock on, which basically gets more sophistication about uh, in the Pokemon you're hitting. And I. Oh, I forgot! It, uh, you do realise Cleft is part fairy then? Yeah, I know. There's a little bit of you guys. So I'm going to try and hit him with one more Leaf Blade to finish him off. I decided to keep Leaf Blade because Leaf Blade is a very powerful move. My Clef Cleat unfortunately faints in a very... So first blood very, to me. Okay, I'm about to send in my Bronzer, my Camerot, which is a fire ground type. Oh. So uh, Bronzer actually has a very high chance of knocking me out in one shot. So I'm going to use this move. I'm going to start off with an earthquake just to see if I can do anything. Oh, I can. So I'm going to go with a lava plume, which is that a fire type That would probably attack. annihilate me. Yes, it does. So, lava plume sadly finishes off synthesis. Uh, I am going to bring yeah. in my oracle, which is my Kyogre. And I'm going to show the cool little animation for primal reversion. Primal, re primal reversion changes Growlzom. Which is, uh, and it makes him a fire ground type, but it doesn't change Kyogre all that much. It just, just makes it look all more threatening. More cool. If you guys haven't seen And it Shining... gives the ability Primordial Sea, which makes Savage Rain appear. Do you know how you said you can't get Shiny Kyogre? You can. You can, but it's, it's hard. It's hard. Uh, okay. I'm going to hit him with... I'm going to use this move right here. I'm going to use Earthquake to finish him off. Yeah, and I do finish off his camera up, which is really useful, because camera up is really powerful. If you didn't know, uh, for Omega Ruby users out there, if you defeat the leader before you go off to capture the legendary, he will actually give you the... Uh, is it the camera up type? Uh, I don't think you need to defeat him after. Yeah, oh, yeah after. The game. Yeah. So he has sent out Blazing Pink. By the way, fortunately, get, for get the Sharpedon eyes from Arch in Alpha Sapphire in the Delta episode, and you also get the one, uh, and you also get the camera up type from. Uh, let's see, is it what's his name? Uh, what's that? I, don't, what's I can't remember his name. The Omega Ruby leader. Yeah. Can't remember. Uh, well, he he'll give you the camera up tides. So, can ah, you? That's his name, Maxi. Maxi, that's it. 
So I'm gonna use an origin pulse to finish him off. I think it might, it might, and it does. I'm, Even though he's yeah. a dragon type, origin I pulse. Origin pulse was an ice type attack. Okay, guys, I'm about to send out my Garner, which is a firefighting type, as you can see. Fortunately for me, Oracle is a water type as well, so he probably has a move that's probably... Oh, yeah. Just, I'm not being cruel or anything, I just want to get Garner out of the way. Don't worry, Garner, you did well of showing off your tactics. <laughs> I'm going to now send out Glalie. His Mega Evolution is very unfortunate for him, because, unfortunately, in the text it says on the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire website, actually says, it, when he Mega Evolves, he breaks his jaw. Which is not very good. And I'm using the move Crunch. There you go, you can see it right there. It's a dark type attack that's basically the upgraded version of Bite. There are other Fang moves out there like Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Fire Fang. And Fire Fang. And there also, not to forget Poison Fang as well. Poison Fang. Poison Fang has a different animation, it's just two Fangs like that, but the other Fangs are actual teeth. And, yes. Uh, he just knocked out my Malevolo, uh, which is my Glalie. Yeah. And I'm about to send out my Sapphire, which is Gardevoir. So, my Kyogre is really leading it out this time. It's really, really doing some damage here. I'm going to Mega Evolve my Gardevoir. Oh, Ben switches out first. I'll show you the situation now. I'm going to Mega Evolve my Gardevoir now. When Gardevoir evolves, it, be, it, it gets a giant dress, and, uh, and that thing on its chest is actually its heart split into two. It's kind of creepy. Uh, I'm a... Okay. And when... And fairy types, just to give you a bit of trivia, actually have very good special defense stats. Very good. So, that's just to give you guys a little hint. Oh! Now, I just used a fairy type move called Dazzling Gleam. I won't explain that. I won't explain that because there was a video before this that will explain more of it. I'm going to try and hit him with a secret power. My secret power is Body Slam, though. He if might he paralyze me, actually, which is actually what ba Body Slam does. If you didn't know, secret power can be any move in the game. So, your secret power could be Earthquake, it could be Flamethrower. Secret power can be anything. Unfortunately, my Illusion, uh, my Latias, sadly learned Body Slam. I really wanted to get a Dragon move, such as Dragon Claw or something. But I'm going to hit him with another secret power. And I did get the Paralysis. The Paralysis. Body Slam is a normal type attack, and it sometimes paralyzes you, by the way, guys. So, he does take out my Latias. I'm going to show you a little bit of footage from the battle right now. Uh, yep, so I am going to send in... Mega Gardevoir literally is, I wouldn't say a sweeper, but some kind of defensive beast. Do you know what I'm going to go home tonight? I'm going to find out how to turn Deoxys into a different form. Yes. If you guys know, please do leave a comment on how to. So I'm going to hit Callum with the most powerful move in all of Pokemon history. Is that Hyper Beam, Ben? Yep. Here it is, guys. The most powerful move in all of history. Okay, my Gardevoir was taken out. And I do win this battle with five po four Pokemon left as well. Oh, poor for me. But there you go. That's our Pokemon battle for today. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.